As members of the International Code Council, Blue Bonnet Chapter of the International Code Council, and the Building Officials Association of Texas, we would like to share with you some information on the roles of building officials and other code officials, not only here in Waco, but in other cities around the state and country as well. Most people understand that this department issues permits for construction and then do the corresponding inspections associated with the permits. However, what some may not realize is that the billing officials and other code officials do a lot behind the scenes for their cities that may not be as apparent. The City of Waco Inspection Services Department is responsible for overseeing and enforcing the building codes. This includes not only the building structure itself, but also the plumbing, mechanical, and electrical portions of a building, whether that is for new home construction or commercial construction. Inspection Services also works closely with our other departments such as code enforcement, the Fire Marshal's Office, Engineering and Public Works, and Planning Department in order to provide our citizens with comprehensive information when it comes to the construction and renovation of buildings, utilities, zoning, stormwater control, landscaping, and the maintaining of those properties. We hope you find this video helpful. The International Code Council, also known as ICC, is a member-based, focused association dedicated to developing model construction codes and standards. Most U.S. communities and many global markets select these codes as their building code standard of choice. The ICC consists of more than 350 chapters nationwide whose members are tradespersons, manufacturers, architects, builders, contractors, engineers, and code enforcement officials. The ICC is found in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and nine other countries, and is responsible for publishing the building code books that the City of Waco and other cities adopt to govern building projects. Code officials play a major role in keeping the public safe. They ensure that all buildings, including homes, businesses, and places of public assembly, are built to required building safety codes. These code officials are responsible for protecting the public health, safety, and welfare through effective code administration. We are all familiar with what our law enforcement officers do to help maintain our laws, keep the peace, and protect our citizens. What many may not realize is the building officials do the same for the building structures we live and work in. Code officials have a similar authority of enforcing the building codes and ordinances that our city council adopts. These codes are critical to individual communities around the country to help promote and maintain safe buildings and to help a city grow in a manageable and consistent manner. If we didn't have codes to guide the construction of buildings, some of these buildings would not be safe. Building codes are regulated documents to guide design professionals along with contractors and builders to assure that minimum acceptable standards are used in the design, construction, and maintenance. Building codes embrace all aspects of building construction, the fire, structural, plumbing, electrical, and mechanical to increase the safety and integrity of the structures, thereby reducing deaths, injuries, and property damage from a wide range of hazards. Many people automatically associate building codes with the construction and retrofitting of homes, but codes also play an important role in promoting more durable commercial structures that are safeguarded from incidents. These standards are important not only to eliminate or reduce property damage, but they also protect employees from a variety of hazards and facilitate safe evacuations in the event of an emergency. A building permit gives you legal permission to start construction on a building or a remodeling project in accordance with approved drawings and specifications. The best way to find out if you need a permit is to call your local building department. Discuss your plans with the code official before beginning construction to determine whether you need a permit. Even if a permit is not needed, the code official will answer questions and may provide valuable advice. Code officials lead the way in providing training opportunities not only for other code official and inspectors, but for builders and contractors to help them educate them on the code provisions. People from several cities 
uh, will come in and meet uh, different inspectors, different code enforcement officers, things like that. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You have somebody you can talk to if you have questions about a certain code issue or a building issue. There's people that's been inspectors for a year. There's people that's been inspectors for 30 years. And, and you can, uh, uh, you, you have to tap into that, uh, that, that well of knowledge. Uh, and that's what that's there for. Another area that the code official could be involved is the insurance service office, also known as ISO ratings. You know, it's a tool that helps lower the insurance rate for our citizens, uh, but it also helps us to be effective in responding to those to emergency responses. The grading is done every five years for the fire department or the city, and uh, they look at things such as uh, communications, which is how our dispatching procedures are handled, um, the fire department, which is our operations, our response times, our training. Then also we're looking at community risk reduction. How can we be proactive and go out and look at the things that on the proactive side, to how we respond to our citizens' needs. And then also water supply. And so they uh, analyze how effective our water supply system is. And our firefighters are out twice a year uh, inspecting fire hydrants to make sure the maintenance is done. Technology continues to grow and play a major role in building safety. Construction documents for residential and commercial work are drawn using computer-aided drafting programs. 3D imaging of buildings can be done so that an owner can see their building and walk through it before any money is spent on construction. Many cities are now requiring construction plans to be submitted electronically so the plans can be reviewed on the computer rather than in hard copies. Drones are now being used for photography and inspection of building projects. A drone can be flown up several stories to check out the condition of a building without having to send a worker up in a possible dangerous situation. From tornadoes and hurricanes to wildfires and earthquakes, natural disasters happen around our country throughout the year. So what can a code official do to help mitigate disasters? A rapid assessment of structures, whether it be a home or building, is critical. From this assessment, it can be determined if the structure is safe and can be re-entered or if a more detailed engineering assessment is needed. Information gathered from these initial assessments are compiled and given to FEMA to determine if a disaster declaration can be made and thus affecting the money communities can receive to help the recovery effort. Part of this may also involve a call for electricians to come to an area and assess the electrical services to see if the electricity can be turned back on. Power should not be restored until the inspection by a qualified electrical inspector is complete. This same scenario can play out with plumbing, air conditioning, and the building structure itself. Inspectors who are qualified in these areas have knowledge of building construction are critical to help people get back to their homes and work. Unfortunately, disasters, natural or man-made, are things we cannot avoid. For code officials, one avenue is through the Building Officials Association of Texas, also known as BOAT. This group has helped with disaster response around the state of Texas. Our team has continued to grow in numbers around the state so that we have an ample amount of team members to go and assist. The information we help compile in our initial assessment will ultimately make its way back to FEMA to see if a particular city will qualify for federal disaster relief financial assistance. This is an all-volunteer effort. Cities that send the inspectors and code officers can usually be reimbursed for the time the inspectors are gone. The average age of code officials and inspectors are in their mid-50s. It is imperative that we take the lead in helping train the next generation of inspectors, plan reviewers, and code officials. Here in Waco, it is very exciting to see this happen on the local level in high school and colleges through the ICC Technical Training Program. Students that go through these programs learn the actual hands-on skills to build the houses and buildings where they live and work. They also learn the codes behind those skills that they will have to comply with whatever city they may be working in. What got me into TSCC and the building construction program was um, I wanted to be more into uh, the skill side of it and learn more of the aspects of the build. So I didn't want to just look at just one side of a section of a building. I want to look at overall the whole side of the building. Um, and I do uh, uh, see it as like the code side of it. The ICC plays a big part of it. You know, they do mention a lot about the codes and using it in real life situations. We actually graduate 
uh, anywhere from 32 to uh, 38 students per. And out of those, uh, I say about 10% actually go and take the B1 and B2. Uh, because through this program, uh, like I said, they, they, they learn how to navigate. So they're capable of taking really any certification as long as they have an understanding of the technology. Uh, we've always taught code, but never at this extent. Uh, what we're doing now with our seat, ICC, teaching uh, the code in every class that I have, Every project the student builds, uh, it's code related. They look it up. They have to, we'll pretend like we're in a different part of the country or on the coast and they'll have to define the wind shears of everything, the nailing. It's just awesome that these kids are coming out of high school with this code knowledge. I just see a huge importance. It's going to help our workforce. It's going to improve the quality of, of the, the product that's being turned out. And it's going to save people money. The ICC program has helped me a lot with the Skills USA competition that we're doing. It's helped me in the workforce. I'm, I've held my apprentice card for, this will be the second year. And on job sites, we get inspected. So it's helped me make sure everything's to code and that I'm not going to get red tagged and so the building can continue. And also learning ICC has helped like, open my mind up to being an inspector and what they do and what they all look for and how they check jobs. A construction science program is uh, designed to teach students about framing, uh, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, and the masonry trades involved with construction. This project is exciting because now the kids get to incorporate everything that they're going to learn in the program to the actual building of a residential home and incorporate all codes and understand how important those codes are in the construction of the home so that the students understand why they have to build the home the way they have to build it to meet the regulations. At this point right now in our industry, we, we're at a crisis level uh, in terms of skilled workforce. And we've got, uh, on average, about one skilled worker for every five skilled positions that are available. And we have entry-level positions starting out in the mid-five figures that we can't fill. Uh, and the reason is primarily because we've got so many students coming out of high school that don't have any idea that these, uh, these opportunities exist. And there haven't been any programs at the high school level solely dedicated to training students uh, for those careers. And that, that is now changing. And, and the Construction Science Academy at Guama is the first step in what we hope is um, a reinvigoration of the construction industry across the board at all levels. What makes this program different uh, really from anything that's been tried anywhere else in the country is that this is a true collaboration of the private sector, people like me, business owners like me, working with the education sector and the legislative sector to include city services, city government, state government, national government, and created this program in such a way that the students coming through the program are learning what they need to know from a business perspective so when they graduate they are as best prepared as possible to go into the workforce. As you have seen from this video, your local building and code officials do a lot more than just issue permits and perform inspections. There are many areas that they and their staffs work in that may not be readily apparent on the surface but are critical to the safe development and daily functions of the city. The Inspection Services Department of the City of Waco stands ready to assist our citizens in matters that involve the building codes. We work closely with other departments in the city to give our citizens comprehensive guidance in developing projects, both residential and commercial, and provide inspections of these structures by working with contractors to make sure the structures meet or exceed the codes. Also, as we've seen, adopting and enforcing the most current editions of the codes can play a major role in affecting the insurance rates in a city. Assisting in disaster response recovery efforts is another area building officials can help with. You heard one of our local builders and industry leaders state a serious problem that is not only affecting us here in Waco, but is also playing out around the country, a shortage of skilled workers in the construction industry. There is a new mindset that is continuing to develop in this field. That mindset is that successful and profitable career can be there for the taking for anyone high school and college students and our veterans coming out of our military service who want to continue their education in the construction sciences fields. Contractors, builders, design professionals, building officials and inspectors, tradespeople, project managers, facilities managers, etc. 
are just a few of the careers that are available to anyone who want to learn and develop a skill in construction or inspections. ICC provides the code knowledge through its high school and college technical training curriculum and Military Families Career Path program to help achieve these goals. I hope this information has been helpful to you to better understand the role of the billing official and other code officials in our city. Around the state and country, these professionals can wear many hats, but their responsibilities are still basically the same. So the next time you walk into a room and flip on a light switch or turn on a faucet to wash your hands or get a drink of water, go shopping, go to the movies and see multiple doors with exit and emergency lights, directional signage, fire lanes, fire extinguishers, etc. Remember, building and fire codes are behind why those items are there. That is to make sure you and your family and friends have a safe environment to work, shop, or enjoy some form of entertainment. While the International Code Council sponsors a Building Safety Month each year to remind us the purpose of codes as safety mechanisms for the built environment, as you can see, building safety is a year-round responsibility that affects all of us on a daily basis. Please contact your local building department for information on any building project you may be planning. They can provide you with all the necessary information you need. Thank you for watching.